Hello, everybody. I'm the missing sock. Fucking and we're crazy. back with more Grand Theft Auto V online on the PC. Today is Yo, Halloween. What the fuck, dude? It's the time of recording this, so I'm gonna go check out some new masks and maybe some face paints if they're here. Yeah. And I think we should order a uh, new vehicle. Maybe we should order that first. So we're gonna go in here. Well, let's go inside the company car. Yeah. Goodbye, friend. A nice little rider. We're gonna get something even more Halloween than that. This is just nice. Appropriate, but not quite appropriate enough. So we'll fix that in one point here. I'm kind of saving up for the uh, yacht that's on sale. But I think we'll be able to make it in time. So in the meantime, we are going to buy us some uh, some special holiday uh, uh, I don't know content yeah uh, we're looking for the Frankenstange and the uh, Lurcher you know, they'd be good additions one's a hot rod one's a uh, kind of like a hearse and we've already got the one hearse so this will match our other hearse and I'm going to collect hot rods later there it is and there's the other one so there's the Albany Lurcher there's the Albany Frankenstage storage. So this one I think will just be a good companion for our other one. I want one. Hmm. But I think we're going to get this one first. We'll use that today for Halloween. I can buy this tomorrow or maybe later, maybe right after. But I think we'll keep the, the, the Frankenstage first here for our Halloween mobile. <laughs> And our hot rods throughout the year, hopefully, we'll see. We'll go nice next to some other ones that I'm going to buy in the future. So, select from available liveries to order. Spider Trap. Midnight Potion. It's not bad. Spider Trap's got like a change down here. Really. Hell's Furnace. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I see the changes. Blazing Death. The unlikely product of Albany's design team leafing through a vintage car magazine while in the depths of a masculine, uh, masculine overdose. The Frankenstein will make you the envy of goths, emo hipsters, and vampire wannabes everywhere. Don't be fooled by what's left of its old world charm. The steering linkage may be from 1910, but the engine has just enough horsepower to tear itself and you to pieces at the first bump in the road. <laughs> well, that's definitely selling features. <laughs> the skull on the front there. It's nice, blazing death. Kind of clean look. Midnight potion's nice too. Spider trap, eh, it's okay, but I don't think so. I'm thinking about Hell's Furnace. That midnight potion. Let's see what kind of colors we can alter it to in the future. But certainly the brighter of the two is probably Hell's Furnace. Let's go with Hell's Furnace. Bye. Uh, we're going to send that around the corner for ourselves so it won't take us long to pick it up. So we're going to send it to uh, Del Perro Heights and then we'll drive it in. Alright, that's not too far away from where I am. Around the corner. Get it over web browser. Alright, while that's being delivered, let's go have a look at the masks. It should be here. And now I think I'm going to get one, yeah, one, well, maybe two more. Geez, that's like a lot of money in masks. This Gabby sewer creature that's so creepy. I'll take it. Alright. Are we done? That's a lot of money and masks. <laughs> uh, I think I might be done. Oh, yeah. No. No, I need the uh, nasty watermelon and the nasty pumpkin here. I've got rod and pumpkin. It's got a little bit more definition there. You and that mask are a perfect match. Yes, it is Halloween. I think that's going to be the one we'll wear for now, too. All right, so here we are. Back at the place. <laughs> that looks creepy. 
skull mask just hanging out there. Yeah. Alright, let's get inside there and get our new Halloween car. Fucking like a fucking street. Fucking stage. Fucking stage. Hmm. Terrible with some of these. <laughs> And I changed into a black outfit here, so it gives me a little bit more of a... Hopefully at night, and more, more of a pumpkin just flying along look. We'll see. But there's a little bit of an outfit for now. And there's the new vehicle, right there. Nice. Alright. Cool. I like that. Yeah. No license plate, I guess, because they wouldn't be street legal. <laughs> All right. Oh, vroom, vroom. Stand back. <laughs> I hear that it vibrates. Yeah, see? It does vibrate. Barely see it, but the engine actually vibrates as you set the spot. And I wish all of them did that. That's nice. So this is just dark one. Let's see if we can take this into the custom shop. Oh, look at those big fat tires. I wish I could buy tires like that for some of the other cars. Something I feel like is missing from the game is tires like this. Same thing with the trucks. I know some people would like to have the, the bigger tires for the trucks or the double wheels, kind of like that, but imagine two tires at the back, you know. Uh, right there would be two tires, but you know, some of the trucks will have that, if not four of them at the back. Yeah, some people like that that mod, but it's not available in the game. But I guess they got lots of other things, though. So here we are with our Reckon Strange. Reckon Strange. It's a nice looking on rod. Let's start with some dark windows. All right. Okay, armor. Hmm. Well, I might slow it down, but I don't think I'm really going to be racing much with this anyway. I'm going to be terrorizing, so <laughs> probably. So let's get it some upgrade. Like and Fifty thousand okay? dollars for that armor upgrade. And let's see. 3500 for the brakes, that's expensive. 33000 for the engine level. Prom prom. But that's a must. It's a must have. Alright, let's go into the hood, I guess. So it's a nice stock hood, which I quite like so far. Triple intake. It still vibrates. That's good. And a single intake. Wow, that is nice. But you know, I think I might even like the stock better. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Because yeah, then you get the uh, the whole uh, the, the you know what is the wheel fan there? The, the belt moving. Oh yeah, you already got the belt, but it doesn't come as high up until you add this on. So I might do that after all. Well, let's come back to that in just a second. What's this thing? Here? got a funky horn as it is. So I might just leave that. Is there any... It's too bad they don't have, like, um, Halloween horns in here right now. They should. Oh, they do. I wonder if I can uh, bring my hearse in and get those while well, well, getting is good. Have to find out. Oh, that's alright. That's a good one. That's good for all year round. That's just a death one. Which is always nice. It's a lot for a horn, but hey, let's get it. It's Halloween. Why not? Interior. Add decorative ornaments. It doesn't really... 
Yeah, there's no differences. Oh, oh you go click it again. Weird. Sorry, guys. I had to buzz it twice, apparently, now on you. So the Marachi. Oh, yeah, I see. They're bobbleheads. That's what these are. I used to them in the Benny shop, but I guess they were originally in Los Santos Customs for special days like this. Grim Reaper. So those are normal ones. These, I think, are the Halloween ones. Yeah, some Jason's. Jason's always good. Some zombies. Yeah, some of the regular ones and some of the new ones. Bloody vampires. Werewolves. And then regular bobbleheads. And the Mirachi ones. Okay, well. We've already got a death head on the outside of this right there, the little skull there. So I think we should get something that kind of goes with that. The Grim Reaper, I think, is available all year round, but still, it's an obvious choice to go with it. I don't know. I guess it's kind of simplistic, but I really feel like that Grim Reaper is the one. Okay. Lights, well, we'll get the Xeon lights, I guess, yeah. Too bad we can't pick other colors. See about the neon kits in a bit. And we've already picked our liver and it comes with it. But at least we can change our mind later, and that's good to know. Uh, nope. Let's get back in there. Let's see. Suspension. Doom. Boom. 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 Lower that big right down. Wow. Surprise is not even touching the rail. Yeah, sure. We'll take it lowered. And 40,000 for the They're transmission, why not? And 50,000 for the durable. Oh, ouch. Can't I'll take it. Alright, wheels. Wheel tight. Like I said, generally the tuners are the best ones, but it is a muscle car. So we'll just check out the muscle cars. It doesn't keep the size, it does, which is good. A couple of these that don't I don't usually like actually look pretty good on the big one. The big tires. That adds more chrome to it, I suppose. I always like those ones, because then you get the color with some chrome too. And it gives a nice mean look. The revolvers. Great taste. Dark copper. So it comes pre-colored. It's interesting to know. Get some custom tires. Sure. Oh, well, it is for terrorizing on Halloween. So another 25,000 again for bulletproof tires. Tire smoke, yeah, we're going to get to that once we figure out if our colors are right. So that's about it. So actually, it's got some decent modifications. Not too many, though. But quite a few. Let's go into our respray here. What's the secondary color? Just bring it to chrome so we can easily tell. And you can see that's all the fins. That's about it. Hmm. That's alright though. Gives you an idea. So it's like a purple classic right now, I think. Because it won't let me go into the pearl essence as I don't have a metallic. So let's give it some kind of uh, metallic then. I'm just kind of comparing that original purple. And I guess the interior would always be purple. Huh. The metallic black though, I do like that. It's nice. Let's just go blazing through the colors here. Yeah, with the different liveries and stuff, you can get some different looks in this, that's for sure. I think. Yeah, lots of different looks. The white on purple, the all kinds of stuff. But maybe it's boring. 
but I'm going to go with our black here. There we go. And our secondary color is already a metallic black, so we might change that, but we'll see. Back to our primary and our pearlescence. And it does have one. Okay. Oh, it does come with the, the regular one, cast iron silver, because of the metallic paint job. Let's see what else we can do. So we can get them some red. That does kind of look good with the lames. The red highlights. Could also have a look at some others. Yellows. Greens. I was thinking about uh, maybe some purples, actually. It's got that purple interior, so... Yeah, there's bright purple. Bright purple. I don't think I'd ever normally would have picked bright purple. And yet, with that interior, that actually works pretty well. Almost looks the same as the beginning of everything. What bother? Well, it's a little fancier though. It gives it more shine because now it's not classic. It's actually a metallic paint job with a pearlescent paint job on top of it. If I did this, and it makes a subtle difference when you look at a different light and just the general shine and reflection of it. I'm sure other people can explain it better than me though. Yeah, I think I like that. So we're going to pick that. Bright purple for only $20,000 more. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so that's nice. That matches the outside. Oh, I just wanted to show you. I was going to say, why is there a star in that? And I was thinking about changing these. with all kinds of different stuff. But it does already look pretty good the way it is. Um, let's have a look at what a matte black would look like in those secondaries. You can still see the pearlescent shine even though... So, it's only you need know, something like bright like that green to really kill it off. I don't know if there's anything you really need for anything like that. It certainly contrasts it really well, but I think it looks better matching. So, that's that. Plain, I guess, maybe to some people, but I like it. But I am going to change those wheel colors. Now that we've had a look around. Either to a black or a purple. Midnight purple, nice dark purple. Matches the car pretty well. Let's have a look at the black. Black always looks nice. Shaft or purple. Midnight purple. I suppose if we got the midnight purple, we're kind of getting the best of both worlds. A little bit of purple and a little bit of black. Sure. We'll take it. Sold. Back to our hood. Hmm. Wish they gave you more choices with these. In general. But that is a very classic look, I suppose. Yeah, we'll go with the triple ending. That's a beauty right there. Alright, so we can always change it later, but I think that's everything. She is complete. A dynamite. We got her horn even. Yeah, we got her armor. We're thinking about lights. It is a crazy Halloween vehicle, so maybe we should get it some lights to go with it. Yeah. Okay, we'll do the full set for 30,000. Front, back, and sides. Purple for 6900 <laughs> The black light would also look good. It's too bad we can't turn off the lights in the Los Santos, but black light might be good. I didn't know you could get crew color and things. Good. Your lights show us what I know. Well, purple or black light? Because black light is kind of purple light to some people, that certain light. Yeah, we'll do the purple. Okay. All 
right? That is everything. So just for you guys that wanted to see different styles, we'll look at the Blazing Death for a second. Those colors. And there's the spider trap again that we didn't pick. Which is nice and plain actually. Like I'm not sure than the spider things, but if you wanted to keep it clean, it's not it's almost clean. You can always go with none too, which is pretty hard. I might do that later on in the future. Just bring it back in here and change the colors and make it none. And then there's the midnight potion again. That is kind of nice. And then back to what we have. Hell's Furnace. Done with a uh, metallic black. Yeah, with the purple pearl essence. There we go. Oh, vroom vroom. Like that. Oh. Oh, I think I love it already. Even though it probably performs like a monster. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it sounds like that. To me. Crazy. I love it. Hey, stay away from my guard. Not wrecking it yet. Oh, we didn't get it some uh, smoke. We'll have to maybe get it some purple smoke. Actually, it's uh, a little faster than I expected it to be, from what I heard and read. It's pretty quick, actually. When you consider these these vehicles aren't really made for racing. You know, they're made for having fun. Well, you can try to race them, have fun perform. racing. You can win any race, you know, with almost any car. It's really more depending on the driver and how much the other people mess up or not. So you can try, but if it's really all down to performance and it's a competition with skilled drivers, it's not the best type of car for that. It's more for fun. So sorry now, I waste your time, bring you all the way back in here, but I thought uh, we should get some tire smoke. Purple. Excellent. Well, there's always one thing, right? The forest plains. It's always something you forget, like when you travel, there's always something. And it's always nice to find it right away. You fully modded a vehicle. I saved those customs. I got a cheating. Should have known. Or it's souped up. Now, I've already fully awarded, uh, fully unlocked vehicles, for those that are wondered. I don't know why it's telling me that. Or maybe it's just because I've done it so many times, but it's definitely not the first time. Hmm. Strange. But nonetheless, that's pretty cool. I am very happy with that car, as I said before. hope you guys are too, so I highly recommend it, the Franken Strange. If it's not available when you're watching this, um, you know, hopefully... I They'll bring it back next Halloween again, and you can buy it again. And if you ever did do buy it, or if you did buy it, you can go back and buy it again if you happen to sell it. And perhaps you regret it, or you want to buy it again throughout the year. Uh, once you bought it once, it's unlocked permanently for you. So even outside of Halloween, you can go buy it again as long as you bought it before. All right, so it's a good thing to know. Oh, look at that suspension working. <laughs> Get a little interior view for you guys. Back view. Let's pull over here. All right. Hit classic dash. That's all bad. And notice how his eyes glow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the Grim Reaper's head's glowing. And the engine vibrates. I do like that. As we were saying earlier. beast. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this little Halloween episode. I'm going to go kill some people for Halloween. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys had fun too. We'll have fun on next year's, if not this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Have a Halloween.
even though this is probably not when you're watching it. That's when I'm doing it. <laughs> and this looks so mean, I might just drive around all year like that. Yeah, I would just creep anybody. I see that pull up in front. Yeah, I would not want to see that inside of my house. That'd be very creepy. <laughs> all right, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, we do appreciate it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. can do different patterns of it. Does it slow and fast?